Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another review. So in this review, we are going to be talking about the new Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer and also the Born This Way Etherno, Ethereal, I'm sorry, um, setting powder in the shade Translucent Medium. So we're gonna be trying out two new products. Um, both are two of like my favorite things of makeup. Um, I really, really love foundation concealer, but I really love me some concealer. I really, really love setting powder, especially if it's like super brightening and super smoothing and just, you know, just amazing. And, you know, highlighting, of course. But I really love the face portion of the face, if you haven't tell, if you can't tell. But, so that's what we're gonna be talking about. The shade in the concealer, I picked up the shade um, Chestnut because I thought the one underneath of it was just a little too light. But now that I've swatched it on my hand, I might have to end up going back and getting that lighter shade because I feel like this is gonna be a little too close to my skin tone. So we're gonna see, you know, even if the shade is wrong, we're gonna just try it out, test it out, see how it feels, see how it goes. Um, I'm gonna prime my skin with the Benefit Professional Primer, and then I am going to use the Too Faced Born This Way Undetectable Medium to Full Coverage Foundation. This is in the new Jackie Ina shade, in the shade Chai. If you guys would like to see the full review on that particular product, I will have that at the end of this video, or you can just check the down bar, or the description box, I'll have it linked down there, so that way you can check it out there. But, it's not gonna be about the foundation although I wanted a full video on the foundation concealer setting powder but they didn't have the concealer setting powder last week or two weeks ago when I went to get that get the foundation so I had to hold off on that so if you guys are interested in seeing this video then please keep on watching okay you guys so foundation is on I'm primed and applied my foundation the shade chai is just like this is like my new favorite foundation because I feel like it just matches so freaking well like it just it just looks good so I'm really scared that this is like too close to my skin tone but let's try it out so this is a multi sculpting concealer conceal contour highlight retouch it has coconut water alpine rose and also hyaluronic acid so pretty much the same things that are in the born this way foundation are in the born this born this way super coverage concealer um it says it's hydrating long wearing photo friendly and non comedogenic comedogenic <laughs> And it's cover, contour, highlight, and retouch with this super perfect, perfecting natural finish concealer slash makeup hybrid. The ultimate multi-use formula for a modern and hydrated photo-ready concealer. Um, and it's a fully loaded pigment. So this, as far as I know, is supposed to be like super, super, super full coverage. And when I was swatching, it feels like, kind of like the Too Faced, or the Tarte Shape Tape. But let's see. So this is the shade Chestnut, which I think if I were to go back, I would probably get like a shade lighter because I just feel like I need like an extra brighten. But we'll see what the setting powder does because if the setting powder is a little bit more like brightening yellow, I might not have to. But so far so good. It doesn't feel like super, super thick. But it is so far like full coverage. I can feel that from when I swatched it on my arm. The wand is actually very, very, very large and so is the handle. It's actually a pretty large concealer. Like I don't know how I'm going to fit it in that <laughs> Muji drawer because it's so big. I don't think that I'll be able to. But I am going to blend that with my um, beauty blender and I'm going to scoop closer to the mirror so I can see a little bit better. But yeah, like see that like just blends into the skin. And for some people that is like what they like. But for me, I like it a little bit more brighter. Well, I'm lying. I like it a lot more brighter. But it is definitely more hydrating. It doesn't feel like the tart, excuse me, tart shape tape. Whereas it's like a little bit more um, drying. This one's definitely not like that. It's definitely that coconut water that they infuse this product with that keeps it nice and hydrating. 
it's definitely like helping so if you have really really dry skin this is gonna be nice for you if you have dry skin but you want that full coverage kind of look and feel because it's definitely full coverage then this concealer is gonna be a lot better than the Tarte Shape Tape but like my forehead is so 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 dry right now so it's actually gonna help my forehead but my nose is not dry so it's gonna kind of hinder my nose if you know what I mean but it looks beautiful on the skin. It looks beautiful, really radiant. Does it claim that it's creaseless? Okay, it doesn't claim that it's creaseless, so we know that much. But we are going to use the setting powder now. And this is in the shade medium, translucent medium. So they have translucent like the white translucent they have translucent medium and then they have translucent deep i believe which is the darker one that i would use for like my face but baby don't got that much money so i couldn't buy that one um this one also is infused with the same three ingredients as the concealer and it says our silky lightweight powder set to make up for longer wear while providing a veil of perfecting luminosity for a finish so natural they'll think you were born this way so i don't know how i feel about that luminosity because I like for my powders to definitely give me that like snatched, brightening, lightening type of consistency. So we shall see. Now this powder, unlike the Sasha Buttercup or the KKW or the um, ColourPop, has a lid so you can close it. But you have to like, like tap it to get it out because like yeah like you have to like tap it for it to come up out of the little sifters sifters so i've just blended the concealer out underneath my eye and i'm taking a stilazi strobe 307 brush this is my favorite under eye brush and uh, i'm just gonna pat this into the under eye Like it looks really flawless in person, but like like it definitely mattifies it because you can see the difference between the two eyes. This one isn't set and this one is set, so it does mattify. But it's not giving me that like brightening, like, like my KKW, you know? I don't know, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I would have to use like the translucent shade I don't know. I mean, maybe if I use like a lighter concealer color, it would like look different to me. I guess it's not bad. I guess like you can tell that I highlighted, but I don't know. I'm so used to it being so bright that like you can like really, really, really tell. Um, okay, so. Once I look like really, really, really close, like the powder definitely dry. Oh. I mean, it's not bad, but like it definitely dried out like my nose. Like, I don't know. Can I get closer to the camera? Maybe you guys can see. Can you see like my nose? Like see like there's some skin flaking, but like it looks really good under the eye. Like looks really good but it just like dried out my nose like significantly with don't get me wrong it's not that bad <laughs> but it's definitely like like kind of powder huh i don't know let me finish doing my the rest of my face and then i'll come back for final thoughts how about that <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I have finished my entire face, also applied, you know, my lip product and everything, and one thing I will say is that that powder is, although it says it's infused with coconut, like, I feel like it's a lot more drying. It might just be my skin, but I feel like it was just a lot more drying, especially, like, my nose was, like, starting to flake and everything like that, but it is still a really pretty powder, and as you can see with that concealer as well, it doesn't look like my normal, like, 
extra bright under eye highlight which if that's not something that you're looking for and you are my skin tone like my shade range then chestnut is going to be really 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 good for you chestnut is that shade that blends into the skin seamlessly and doesn't look too over overly bright this concealer honestly could even be used as a foundation you can just you know as a spot concealing a spot foundation type of like no makeup makeup look type of thing if you guys want me to feature that and like show you guys how you can do that i can do that while i still have this like before i like turn it in or whatever because like i said it is pretty similar you can just spot conceal and then blend that out with a brush or a beauty blender powder it and then you know apply mascara a little bit of gimme brow and out the door you know what I mean so something like really quick really easy of course I love the foundation the shade chai is like look at me perfect shade range and I know a lot of people have been coming for me and my shade range choices and chucking up the deuces to you because I know my makeup I know my skin tone I know you know I know my stuff if I know anything I know my stuff and I'm not gonna you know just anyways just got annoyed really quick but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions on the concealer the setting powder anything like that then please comment down below especially if it's something like how did it wear throughout the day you know did it crease on you anything like that so far so good underneath of the eye the under eye looks really 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 flawless which i noticed right away it was just like the nose that was just like eh, like kind of but you guys Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye, you guys.